Hello everyone. This video is about the poem Home They Brought Her Warrior Dead written by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Here is the brief introduction about the poet Alfred Lord Tennyson. Alfred Lord Tennyson was a British poet. He was the poet laureate during Queen Victoria's reign. Tennyson's early poetry with its medievalism and powerful imagery was a major influence on the pre-Raphaelite brotherhood. Some of his poems include Ulysses Tithonus, in memoriam, etc. A number of phrases from Tennyson's work have become very famous. Some of the phrases are to strive, to seek, to find and not to yield. Knowledge comes, but wisdom lingers. As source of his poetry, Tennyson used a wide range of subject matter ranging from a medieval legends to classical myths and domestic situations to observation of nature. Home They Brought Her Warrior Dead tells the story of a woman who lost her husband in battle. The third person narrative of the poem helps the reader to understand the widow's reaction. This poem truly reveals the heart of a mother. Let us try to interpret the stanzas of the poem and try to understand the meaning of the poem. Here goes the first stanza. Home they brought her warrior dead. She nor swooned nor uttered a cry. All her maidens watching said, she must weep or she will die. In the first stanza, the speaker describes the reaction of a woman when her dead husband was brought back to her. Her grief was so overwhelming that she didn't faint or swoon or make a noise. All her maidens watched her and were worried about her because her health may deteriorate. In this slide, you can see the images of the warrior taking part in war. And in the second image, you can see how the dead warrior was brought back to his home. Here goes the second stanza. Then they praised him soft and low, called him worthy to be loved. Truest friend and noblest foe, yet she neither spoke nor moved. In the second stanza, the speaker tells us that all the people around the dead man praised him. They talked about his life, about the good that he did. They called him worthy to be loved. They talked about how great the friend he was to them. They called him true and noble. Even after listening to all the praises for her husband, the wife of the dead man could not speak nor move. She remained still. She was in a state of shock. She was unable to accept the death of her husband. Here goes the third stanza. Stole a maiden from her place, lightly to the warrior stepped, took the face cloth from the face, yet she neither moved nor wept. In this stanza, the speaker tells us that as the woman refuses to grieve, one of the maidens walks up to the dead man and removes the cloth that was covering his face. The maiden thought that the woman may grieve and accept the death of her husband, but this act of the maiden also fails. The woman doesn't cry or grieve. She was still speechless. Here goes the fourth stanza. Rose, a nurse of ninety years, set his child upon her knees. Like somewhat tempest came her tears. Sweet my child, I live for thee. In the fourth stanza, the speaker tells us that after all the attempts made by the people failed, then a nurse of 90 years took the woman's child and placed it upon her knee. Seeing the child, the woman burst out in uncontrollable tears. They came like a summer tempest. She cried out, Sweet my child, I live for thee. It was now evident with this action that the woman was thinking of a child who would have to live without a father. This concern of the woman about her child kept her speechless. But... In the end, she resolved that she would care for her child in every way. Never let the child feel abandoned or unloved. Hope you have understood the interpretation of the poem, Whom They Brought Her Warrior Dead. Now here is an activity for you all. Look at the word order in the title, Whom They Brought Her Warrior Dead. Normally we say, they brought her dead warrior home. Why do you think the poet changed the word order? Is it beautiful? Discuss and give your point of view. 
and also find other lines with a similar order in the poem. Do like, share and subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon because whenever I upload a new video you will get a notification. And also I have given all my previous videos links in the description box. You can open my description box and you can watch my videos.